What's up, guys? Welcome to NMDTV. Kane's all, Kane's all day. If you're rocking with you, then you know what to do. Hit that like and subscribe button so you never miss out on a video. Big shout out to the members of the channel. I appreciate you guys more than you know. And everybody's happy today because we have our office of coordinator. Is it a good hire? Is it a bad hire? Hell, I don't know. I'm just glad that we know, you know? Hell, I don't know. I'm just glad that we know who our office of coordinator is is and it's going to be shannon dawson former offensive coordinator of houston he will coach the quarterbacks and he will call plays and i'm just glad that it's over with i was tired of the rumors i was tired of the names i was tired of people saying they were going to get hired on this day on that day i'm glad that now we have somebody in the building who's our office of coordinator who can now go out and recruit who can now go out and talk to a gary bryant jr and tell him what type of office we're going to run, who can go out and work with Tyler Van Dyke, who can work because the my my biggest problem with how long it's been taking to get an office of coordinator is I feel like if you don't have an office, if you don't have a guy who's running the office, then what are what are our what are our players preparing for? How are they preparing besides uh, getting their body right? You got to get your mind right. And I'm glad that it's all over and we have Shannon dawson to be our office of coordinator now as i mentioned the players they got to get ready for this system what type of system will we be running what well, shannon dawson is known for the air raid he's been working at houston under dana Holgerson. you know i first remember him from his west virginia days with gino with tavon and those guys uh spent time at southern miss spent time at kentucky uh spent a i think he got I think they split up pretty quickly at Kentucky. Uh, and for the last couple of years, he's been at Houston. Now he's coming to Miami with the air raid. Now, I'm not an air raid guy. I'll let you guys know. I'm not an air raid guy. I like to run the ball. I like to be physical. I like to impose my will on uh, defenses. That That's how I like to run. But we know in this modern day of college football, you've got to put points on the board. And we didn't do that last year. So something had to change. So we're going to bring in the air raid. I hope we bring in the air raid. And I've been watching a couple of interviews of Coach Dawson. And he talks about how he's not all about passing the ball. We're going to tote that rock as well. So listen, tote that rock. You know, we're going to slang the ball around, but we got to be able to put the ball in our uh, running backs uh, hands to be able to close games out and things like that. So I feel like this hire does get the energy back going with Miami. Looking at a lot of the fan base, I think they are happy. When you look at Dawson, he has helped with the quarterback development at Houston. Those quarterbacks have played well. I think, and I'm just saying this because I've seen a couple tweets that say things like, we're running an air raid. Thank God Mario changed the way he's done things. We're running an air raid. Thank goodness Mario has changed his philosophy on offense. And I just want to say, guys, when you look at Oregon's offense under Mario, it was good, right? It was good. When he was at when he was at Oregon, he won games because of that offense. I, I, I don't understand where this notion that Mario's office of philosophy or his office of game plan does not win games. Did it win games with Miami last year? No. Did it win games at Oregon? Hell yes. Did they beat Ohio state? Yes. Did they win Rose bowls? Yes. Did they, um, play for conference championships? Yes. Did they go to New Year's Six Bowl? Yes. So I don't know where this notion comes from that um, Mario is the people talk about Mario's offense like he just hands the ball off every play. No. He knows that you got to be able to run the ball to win big games. This air raid under TVD, we're going to see how it goes because I'm not going to I'm not going to be fake to you guys. I've told y'all how I feel about Tyler Van Dyke. I felt like the offense didn't do much for Tyler last year, but I feel like Tyler missed a lot of plays himself. So I want to see what Tyler's going to be able to do 
air raid offense. You got some 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 big boys coming on that offensive line. We got a new refound energy in Shannon Dawson. And I will say, you know, I'm happy. You know, I'm happy. I hope we get a good mix of the air raid mixed with physical running. You know, balance. That that's basically what I want. I want balance. I want I want to be able to slang the rock, but I want to be able to when it's time to shut the door on the team. I want us to be able to hand the ball off to Mark Fletcher, to Trevante Citizen, to Parrish. I want us to be able to to hand the ball off and finish people that way. You know what I'm saying? That 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 that's what I want. But all that will get taken care of during the season. But you look at what's going on right now. We can get Dawson in, and he, we we need to get TVD the playbook. We need to give it straight Xavier Restrepo the playbook. We need Dawson to call up uh, Gary Bryant Jr. Talk to him. Talk to the Mississippi State wide receiver who just went to the transfer portal. We 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 need to talk to uh, the young wide receivers in this recruiting class. Call up a JoJo Trader. Let him know what you got planned with these wide receivers. You know what I'm saying? What do you guys think about this hire? Let me know in the comments. I'm out. Peace.